Um, hi everyone, it's me, Colin, and if you do not know, apparently two years ago, the narrator in Thomas and Friends, Michael Angelis, has passed away at the age of 68 due to an heart attack, and, um, so I'm basically just bragging about and reveling with joy how over the fact that how I thought that Michelangelo's deserved to pass away. But then after I told my mother about who Michelangelo's was because she knew Thomas and Friends just like I did back from 2008 when I was first born. And then she told me, how would you like it if someone said mean things about your YouTube channel? And then she had a point when I made those nasty comments about Angelus' death. So now I'm just sitting here, even asking myself this question. Did Michael Angelus really deserve the pass away? Because if it wasn't for him, then my childhood show would never exist. Um, along with him, along with Michael Brandon, Alan Baldwin, um, Rako Starr, and um, who's the other guy? The guy who's a comedian. Um, George Crover, if I'm even pronouncing that right, his last name, Gro Crover, I don't know. If it wasn't for any of those guys, Thomas and his friends would never exist. Um, none of the other movies he made, because Michael Angelis just so happens to be featured in other TV shows and movies that aired in the United Kingdom, so... Michelangelis, Michelangelis' parents, friends, and family, if you're listening, I'm sure that Michelangelis is a great voice actor, even if I openly seem to dislike him. So, without a doubt, Michelangelis, rest in peace from um, between 1944 and 1952 to 2020, you will be forgotten. Michael Andrews, you will be forgotten.